our winter trip from Mansfield, Massachusetts to Titusville, Florida is perfect for demonstrating the long legs of the Piper Malibu. The Malibu carries 140 gallons of fuel, uses about 18 and climb from sea level to flight level 250, and that leaves over 120 gallons as we start our cruise. I use 70% power, which gives me 200 knots true and 8 hours of endurance. With an hour reserve, that provides a no-wind range of 1,400 miles. The Malibu has six seats, but with 140 gallons of fuel, it's basically a two-person airplane. The weather was about as good as it gets in the Northeast, with highs uh, all the way to uh, Washington and Tennessee. But there was a stationary front off the uh, southern coast that did bring bad weather. So fuel calculations are very important for this trip. Mansfield has no tower, so I like to pick up my clearance in the air whenever possible. Also, Mansfield is near the edge of Boston airspace, and it's easy to fly out of the Boston airspace while picking up the clearance. So what I like to do is file out of North Central and then pick up my clearance in the air from Providence Approach. I've topped the plane off at 140 gallons. We're ready to go, and uh, I'll be accompanied by Fred Moses on this trip. We have a noise abatement procedure where uh, we have to turn left to 290 once we're, okay. once we're able. So that's why I'm going to make it a non-standard turn. Okay. It's time to go. You ready? Yep. Mansfield traffic, Malibu 91 Sierra 9 Mike, departing 32 Mansfield. What I do is I hold the brakes, I bring the power up to 2000, check everything, and then go and then there's, there's a taxi where there, you can see where it's plowed about 600 feet. I need to be at about 50 knots crossing that. Okay. That, then everything is running normally. Okay, there's 2,000 RPM. Things look good. The plane is accelerating normally. Airspeed's alive. We're at 50. We're crossing the taxiway, 60 knots. So we're good. We're accelerating. We will be fine. 80 knots is rotation speed in this plane. The Malibu definitely performs as stated in the POH. Okay. Gear's coming up. Good morning, final two four up on my way. Now we do our noise abatement turn so we don't fly over the neighborhood. School is in session. Okay, here we are. We're climbing at about a thousand feet per minute at cruise climb power. And all we have to do is call Providence. King Air 1, Romeo Golf, turn right, heading 140. Providence approach, Malibu 9109, Mike. Calling your approach, standby. Southwest 2034, clear direct jumper. Clear jumper, so that's 2034. The aircraft calling for advisors, start again. It's uh, Malibu 9109, Mike. We're about uh, 15 miles to the northeast, and uh, we have an IFR on file to Titusville. Tango India X-ray, wonder if we could pick up the IFR from you. Battle Blue 9109, Mike Rogers. Uh, maintain VFR for now, Squawk 3416. 3416 and maintain VFR 09, Mike. Malibu 09 Mike, maintain VFR at or below 6,000. Uh, your radar contact, Providence Altimeter 3042. I'll have the clearance in just a moment. A VFR at 6,000, 09 Mike. November 9109 or Mike is uh, cleared to destination. That's Tango India X ray. There'll be present heading. Expect direct jumper. That's spelled Juliet, uniform Mike, Papa, Romeo. Hampton, Hotel Tango Oscar, Jet 174, to Norfolk, that's Oscar Romeo Foster, Jet 121, Charlie Romeo Golf, Oscar Mike November, direct, maintain uh, 6,000. 9109 Mike is cleared to Tango India X-ray uh, via present heading, expect direct jumper, Hampton, Jet 174, Norfolk, Jet 121, Craig, Oscar Mike, 
uh, November direct, 6,000, 09 Mike. Zero nine Mike, thank you. Our read back is correct. I'll have higher and on course in about uh, three to four months. Zero nine Mike, thank you. Malibu zero nine Mike, clear direct jumper when able. Direct jumper, zero nine Mike. Let's see, so here's the part that I'm not keen on. We'll see what what the winds are doing. It's not too bad right now. The winds are light. Malibu zero nine Mike, contact Boston Center one one. Uh, Correction, 128.75, 2875. 2875, 09 Mike, thank you. You're welcome. Boston Center, Malibu, 9109 Mike, climbing 8,000 for 10,000. Malibu, 9109 Mike, Boston Center. Good morning, climb and maintain flight level 190. Up to flight level 190, 09 Mike. So now we need to adjust the uh, pressurization so that we start a cabin climb. So we're still at sea level. So we'll be at what, 5,000? At 190, well, let's see. At the very top, at 250, we're at 8. So at 190, we'll be at 4,500 okay. in the cabin. Actually, you can read it right off here. This yep. is a double scale. Yep, yep. Well, at 10, 000, 000, one, we have one, eight, so yeah. they want to, good day. Not much of a a wind about 10 knots off, off out of the west so this has a good glide ratio if we were if we're at 240 we'd glide 48 miles oh which definitely wow would make kennedy that's but great not if it's a hundred knot wind against us <laughs> yeah but the winds are light today so it, that may work out fine Okay, we're going through 12,000. The cabin is pressurizing. We're at about 2,000 feet in the cabin. Let's see how we're doing on fuel. At 10 gallons, I'm switching to the other side. Yeah, see, the winds are only about 26 knots up here, so I think we can do this no problem. We could glide to shore. Good. Okay, we're happy. We're at 240. We're about gallons an hour. UPS 203, Boston Center, Roger. True airspeed is 201 knots. A short while later, we found ourselves over Maryland, heading towards Norfolk. Everything looked good. We still had a true airspeed of 200 knots. We were burning 15 gallons per hour, but we were running into headwinds. We had a 26 knot wind off the nose as we crossed over uh, Norfolk. A couple hours later, over Charleston, we saw that we would be flying into weather caused by that stationary front off the coast. We were on top with clouds ahead and looked like we would be in the clouds. In the Malibu, Visible moisture calls for the alternate air door to be open and pitot heat to be on. Additionally, there was a forecast for ice and reports of ice to the west of our position. Cue the scary music, Fred. When ice is possible, proactively turn on your anti-ice systems. We actually didn't pick up any ice, but if we had, we would have wanted to get out of it right away, even though we were approved for ice. No question about it, pretty soon we were in solid IMC. Checking the weather up ahead, it looked like it would be raining in Titusville and that we would have to do the instrument approach. The winds favored runway 9, so we loaded up the runway 9 uh, RNAV approach, uh, which calls for flying to Binney, then Amlof, then Tunpi, Zugax, and uh, onto the airport. The descent profile called for crossing uh, Tunpi at 1600 feet. Zero 09 Mike has a WASP GPS and is properly equipped to fly to LPV minimums. So. We're cleared to land. How good is that? That's great. Now we should start to do that. 
Now this thing sees GS, glide slope capture. One green, two green, three oh, green. Oh, gotcha, okay. So okay. gear is down. And 10 locked. degrees of laps. 10 degrees of laps. And does the plane slow itself down? No, you have to redo the throttle. You mean you got something you gotta do? Yes, <laughs> the one thing. Well, you gotta put the flaps down too. Ah, oh, that's There's, two things, okay. Now we have 20 degrees of flaps. Still in the clouds. Got a 21 knot headwind. Our ground speed is 80. Okay, we're next milestone here. Ton P should be at 1600. Now we're getting there. Okay, we have about 18 inches of manifold pressure and 2300 RPM. We're going 110. Slow it down some more. Get our lights on. So they can see us coming when we pop out of the clouds. Well, they were calling it 500 broken, so let's see if uh, what we pop out at. Okay, so the missed approach is to climb to 500 or 800. And then a right turn, climb to 2800 and go direct queuing. Okay. And on the missed approach, make sure we stop the descent, add some more power, and then go to full power, you know, so climb out. Those are my steps. 1600 at Tumpy, so we, did we did make that. it. Yep. Okay, final, full flaps. Zagats, what are we supposed to Look. Uh, 640. 640. Got a lot of drag from the full flap, so I had to add a little power. So we stayed going a reasonable speed. We're going 90, which is a good speed. Taking 19 inches. Okay, pre-landing check. Gas is good. Undercarriage. Mixture. Prop is where I want it. I'm going to leave this door open because I think we might have got a little bit of induction ice. And uh, flaps. Flaps are good. Seat belts are on. The odd damper is off. The Rudder is neutral. What have we forgotten? Anything? I don't think We're so. We're good. Now we just look for the runway, and then we have to take over and land. We're getting the ground in dribs and drabs here. Okay, 780 feet, going down to 294, I think. It, right, 92. 292. 292. We'll get minimums call out at 300. Okay. Still looking for the field. Does that look like a runway to you? It does. There it is. Okay, runway and we're inside. at uh, 600 feet, but uh, we're not totally below the clouds yet. Broke out, but clouds really, we're talking about uh, 500 feet. Yeah, it's about right. Okay, I'm flying now. Autopilot's off. Our ground speed is 73. Our airspeed's 85. So Minimums. No, we Minimums. are landing into the wind. All we got to do is hold the nose off, and everything is good, right? Absolutely. Nose is still off the ground, but it's all right. So we're going to U.S. Jet. Mike, just stay on uh, runway nine all the way to the end. Stay on Mike, Roger. U.S. Aviation and Jet Center. Yep. Number zero nine, Mike. You going to Space Coast Jet Center? right at the end and uh, they're south of the tower. There's a, one of those vision jets that's parked down there that you'll, you'll be able to see the FBO and I got a helicopter or two down there. Just stay with me, taxi ramp. Okay, we'll taxi in with you. Sarah.